Uh, this contest is a catchweight contest and six five minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout decides the winner. On my right in the red corner, the all out television trophy winner at lightweight, the golden ace, John Naylor. His opponent in the blue corner, from Warrington, Wonderboy, Bernie Wright. And number three, the referee for all contests, international referee, Mr. Ken Lazenby. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you. And here at the Pier Morecambe, up here in Lancashire, a great bill for you this afternoon, starting with a catchweight contest between John Naylor from Wigan. You know him for sure in the golden uh, trunks there. Golden boy himself. Golden ace, as they call him. John Naylor, Wigan, and Bernie Wright from Warrington. So all fairly up golden boys here. 12 stone one, Wright, Naylor, 11 stone 11. Not too much in it, but it's still a catchweight bout because it's between two brackets. Six five-minute rounds, two falls to decide this contest. And Ken Lazenby, we'll see in a minute, is the referee, Ken Lazenby from Bradford. There he is, familiar figure in the ring. And already Bernie Wright in a head scissors. And out of a head scissors, from John Lee. A crowd that obviously appreciate their skills uh, escaping skills and counter skills because already they've clapped uh, the escapes. Bernie Wright in a full Japanese stranglehold at the moment from Nato, the more experienced boy, of course. And a quick forward whip there by Nato. Nicely taken on his head. Nicely taken. His first time on uh, the small screen, this boy Bernie Wright. Side head chantry now, Naylor. Naylor with the blonde hair, blonde trunks, and blonde boots. Reaching for the crotch hold, gets it, gets the slam in, but unfortunately the side head chancery holds. Nicely out this time, I write, but uh, Naylor quick, <laughs> very, very quick move by Naylor there. Spun out from the wrist, so quick, right. Rather lucky to get away with that. Double arm Naylor. crowd up here at the pier in Morecambe <laughs> on holiday from all over the country <laughs> but they obviously enjoy their wrestling from the first round of this box to an ankle turn figure four leg lock Less than two minutes now for the end of round one of six. Two falls to the side. Oh, Nader trying the whip, but uh, Wright wouldn't go that time. Turn nicely again. He does that well into the double handed wrist lever. It's the only thing that he's done really that worried Nader so far. Back drop double Lee Nelson, right, folding press now, Nader. Both have been trying there to into the first fall. And Wright's going to be no pushover from Naylor, that's for sure. Again, the Naylor to an ankle. 
form of attack. Looking at the leg. It's just one minute to go. Easy method to get out of this one. Toe and ankle release, just the toe hold now with 30 seconds left for right to get out of it. Figure four leg lock again, double arm. Oh, dangerous position there, but. Five seconds to go. Double arm stretch to Naylor on the bell. Just listen to that applause. Really great. Really terrific. They obviously enjoy their wrestling up here in Morecambe, that's for sure. John Naylor from Wigan, the Golden Ace, 11 stone 11, has kept his weight pretty well, almost the same all the time I've known him. He's going to have a little problem here with this uh, Bernie Wright from Warrington, though. Second to in round two. Maybe Bernie Wright's first television appearance, but he's been at the wrestling game both uh, in the unpaid ranks and as a pro for a year or two now. And he's a uh, pretty fast mover. Up against colossal experience in the shape of John Naylor, of course. Head scissors now to Naylor. Naylor the one with the blonde hair, remember, in the golden trunks. Two falls to decide the six-round contest. Five rounds to go. himself up with that little ball, got it from Johnny Saint. Johnny Saint got it from George Kidd, but it, it, it works just the same. Very effective. No limbs to grab. What? Nicely out. <laughs> He's going to be a danger to Nate. Here. Nice switch. <laughs> uh, this time Naylor held it. Oh, not for long, though. Double leg Nelson with inside the ropes just. And a good bout is in store here. I must admit, when this bout first started, I thought Naylor was going to have most of it his own way, but it's not turning out that way at all. Right. Double wrist lock. Back hammer position to Naylor. He's switched it, he's got that one arm now. And each time Bernie tries to lift, Naylor's feet come on the knees and it's a folding press. <laughs> Just got that leg chop in time. Single finger interlock. That's the posting Naylor was after before. This time he wasn't switched. Reverse double knee hole. Too far over. Naylor too far over. The tap, meaning let's go, is nowhere to get anywhere here. <laughs> Bernie, Bernie Wright trying for the rope run, but uh, Neil was one in eight folding. Oh, beautiful double knee there. Hel almost held. Nearly hold the folding crest to right. Now the way this boy Bernie Wright operates, very slick indeed. Still, Naylor holds the lever. 
the wrist lever there. Both hands firmly on it. Out of it, that head man. He's still in the same trouble. Mr. Mate, go Under a minute to go, round two. Still the double wrist lock there by Naylor. Naylor knew that head scissors attempt coming, so he strained against it. Normal backhand now. Switch the folding press. And again, Bernie Wright rolls himself up into that little ball. And Naylor gives up. Two. Half a minute to go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on. Oh, again, that reverse double knee to Naylor. Tried that three times, it's no avail. He's just got four seconds. Let's have a look at uh, Bernie Wright from Warrington. The first time we've seen him on the small screen, 12 stone one, trained by Ed Beckley, the famous uh, gym in Warrington that trained names like Dynamite Kid and Young David. His brother, of course, of Steve Wright, who did extremely well as a young pro, but has now left these shores, still wrestling, of course. Round three. And if Bernie Wright continues the way he started the first two rounds, I think we're going to see a lot more of him in the professional ring. He's really got something, this boy. Just like his brother had, and still has, so that we don't see him in this country anymore. So, round three, four to go, no score. John Naylor, the blonde haired Wigan Golden Ace, with the full Boston Crab now on Bernie Wright. He released very soon there, and Bernie, Bernie uh, Wright was pretty glad about that. Full Nelson Naylor. Oh, help. Whether the buck got him or not. Beautiful John Double Eight Nelson, just a little too far. Spun out nicely too. <laughs> Both men really enjoying this as much as the packed crowd here at Morecambe. Gets the double arm, Naylor. Trying to lock one off with his with his own left arm. He takes that throw beautifully. Something on his head. It's a nasty looking road burn already on his back there, right? Only from that posting he got just now. It's just four pounds Naylor's giving away here and wait and uh one, two, three, four. That and right speed, it's going to worry him a little before the end of this one. Oh. Yes. Two, three, four. There's the slam, reverse double knee hold. One. Right, that powerful arm gets the right arm off by a bridge. Two, three. And almost through on top of our commentary four. table there. Fortune to the middle rope. One, two, 
Again the posting. Two, three. And a couple of minutes to go. Naylor going for the... Oh, full Boston Crab he's got. I thought he was going to try and spin his man out. Trying to get the submission this time. Ken lays and be the referee right there in case. But no submission coming. He's going to force his man over. He's going to roll him out. Almost just a double knee. Double leg Nelson again, holding pressure, type of spun out beautifully by Naylor. And Wright doing exceedingly well here against the experience of the Wigan man. Double finger interlock now. Wright is taller, he should give an advantage from this maybe. Throw by Naylor into the double wrist lock again. Minute to go. There's the restless bridge. Can Naylor break? Caught in the body scissors as he tried the third time. And half a minute now with Naylor the advantage because of the leg lock there at the back. And right in a bit of trouble from that. Uh, Lock feet. Eight seconds. And then neither of them are going to get anything away from this at all. The bell will stop it anyway. Well, John Naylor on the left there. Wigan. There he is, and uh, his opponent, Bernie Wright, from Warrington. There he is, looking a little more worried, perhaps, than Naylor. Seconds away, round four. But doing very well until halfway through this bout. We start round four with three rounds to go, and no score. Two falls are decided. And right from the start, a drop kick that caught him. Backdrop by Naylor. And Bernie Wright, a little bit of trouble now, getting softened up a bit by the experience of his opponent. Oh, nicely taken that time. And he got quickly, just about reached. Not as hard as Wright would have wanted it, but he reached, just about. Straight arm lift now in position to Naylor. Doesn't matter. Arm roll. Single finger into lock, still on with Naylor the advantage. Naylor and the golden trunks, the blonde hair, there he is. Still the interlock finger. His right hand, right's left. Shoulder wrench. There again, Wright thought he was going for the posting, but the shoulder wrench stopped him. He takes those well, though. Good monkey time. Ayla going for it, but a little too high. And in trouble for a double leg Nelson. No folding press now, Naylor. And he's got those hands held forward. He's got him. He's got him. Beautiful down. Naylor the first call, round four. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in round four, the first fall of the contest goes to the Golden Ace, John Naylor. That's our master of ceremonies for the afternoon.
Brian Crabtree announcing the first ball to John Nader in the fourth. Just took him two minutes to get. Well, the experience showed then after a, a tremendous amount of speedy moves from both men. Let's see if he can keep it up as we start round five any second. Seconds away for round five. Two to go. Now can Bernie Wright in the darker trunks come back here? He's done so well to stay with him. And we only one fall down. And he caught his own throat on the top rope there. Which won't do him any good at all. Wasn't even thrown. He's being thrown now, posting after posting. And Nader trying to make this a 2-0 win. But he held beautifully on that one at the time. Missed with the... Completely missed with the drop kick there. Nader sidestepped it neatly. One, two, three, Well, all his back weakness must be taking their toll and slowing up this young fellow from Warrington. Nader took it well, waiting for it. Another leg drive spun out beautifully by Wright. Look, you can lazy to just miss that one. And this is a Naylor special if he gets those feet up and time under the arms. Oh, he's in trouble from it. He's been caught by his own trick there. Oh, very neat. And four minutes, 25 seconds, and round five. The equalizing fall goes to Wonder Boy, Bernie Wright. Excellent move it was too because a nailer going over to congratulate him there. Yes, that was a nailer's speciality on the way there, that rope trick off the top rope, and it could have ended in disaster for this boy. But he saw it coming, obviously knew it, and maybe he's uh, taken on nailer before and knew the trick. One round to go, and any second the bell. Second away, sixth and final round. One fall each. This is the final round. Are we going to get a decider here? The experience of the blonde nailer or the tremendous speed and fighting back ability of this boy, Bernie Wright. Just so much reminds you of, of young Steve Wright, his brother, when he first started in the ring. Excellent, excellent wrestler. It's going to be an old. He went in too far, Naylor, but fortunately got out of trouble. He went in a bit far there. He's smiling now, but I'm very glad that he, he missed that one. Very dangerous move. Good leg trip, Naylor. Now he can slow things down a little from here. Again, the toe and ankle. time with the folding no that didn't quite work either for me both both moves were unintentional there but at least he's got a double arm out of it man back to his old favorite the finger interlock Naylor had better watch it here he might just get a surprise from this boy and end up the a loser here, which he would not like at all with his experience. There's another backdrop. A few more weakness coming from Nader now, showing he's worried at the speed of his opponent. Nader with a monkey climb this time, and this time 
Bernie Wright didn't land quite so well. Again, the uh, He's taken a lot of those today. And it's a trudge hold and slam, follow down, reverse double knee hold. Danger, danger for Wright, and he's got it. Naylor. So two minutes, 45 seconds into the final round six. Naylor finally the winner by two falls to one, but a magnificent effort by Wright. In the sixth and final round, after an excellent sporting professional wrestling contest, the winner by two falls to one, the golden ace, John Naylor. <laughs>